Okay, we need to talk about gnomes. We need to do it quickly because the sugar is hitting me and I'm losing the ability to think and my hands and feet are going numb and it's painful. So we need to talk about gnomes. In, in the coming years, you're going to notice memes, more and more memes about gnomes. Why gnomes, you might ask. Why so many gnomes? Where are all these gnomes coming from? It's not an invasion. It's, it's more of an awareness. People have always known the gnome. You know the gnome. All these cultures. Oh man, the sugar is hidden. Um, all these cultures have had gnomes. And it's not a coincidence. Gnomes are the end stage of humanity. Think about it, okay? There's, there's several factors here. The first one is genetic engineering will happen to some extent. Why wouldn't they make you smarter if they could? Why wouldn't they make you more attractive if they could? Why wouldn't they um, make you live longer if they could? So you're going to be smarter, more attractive, and live longer, at the very least, right? Um, who knows what else they might do, but those three are almost certainly going to happen. Okay. Now we know smaller people live longer, barring any health conditions. Smaller people have longer lifespans. So they're going to make us smaller over time, selecting mainly for that lifespan, but... The side effect is we're small. So we're small, we're very cute, we're very smart. And also you'll be able to eat sugar all day without going numb like me. You'll be able to eat cotton candy and, and sugar and play video games all day with your friends. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. It's going to be really nice. And you won't have to work because there'll be AI and really good advanced technology by then. I think this all happens in about 350 years in terms of like the gnomes will finally be here in 350 years. But we're, we're going to be working towards that. We've always been working towards that. That's what it's all been about. It's all been about the gnome. Everything is about being coming in the gnome. Um, <clears throat> and Pink Floyd, you know, Pink Floyd is like widely renowned as like one of the most iconic, influential bands of all time, really. And they made a song about gnomes called The Gnome. And it's a strange song because their music's not really about like happy things and cute things ever, really. But they have this one song, The Gnome. Why would they make this song? It's because they know The Gnome. Everyone knows The Gnome. So the song goes, And little gnomes stay in their homes Whining, dining, biding their time so we're going to stay in our homes, whining and dining, playing video games, biding our time, just having a good old time, passing the time. That's life. That's what life becomes. But you're going to also be like rather childlike. The, the gnomes will be rather childlike because, um, so like, okay, so you know how cats keep those like neonatal tendencies? Um, I forget what the word is. There's a word for it, but those... Um, childlike tendencies in captivity but not in the wild so like suckling and and kneading these are things they do only in captivity in adulthood but in the wild they don't do that in adulthood only when they're babies so um that's going to be how people are we're going to keep our sort of natal tendencies um and uh and while, while we're little gnomes, because the uh, AI will effectively be like our owners, will be the pets. The AIs will be taking care of everything. The technology will take care of everything for us. We won't have jobs. We won't have a responsibility. Just like the cats. The cats don't have jobs. They don't have responsibilities. They just got to, you know, do cat stuff all day. We're going to do gnome stuff all day. Um, humans are gnomes. I, I shouldn't say like we're going to do gnome stuff. We're going to do human stuff <clears throat> all day. But humans are gnomes. Humans become gnomes. It's the same, we're one and the same. They're not two different entities necessarily. Gnomes are humans, humans are gnomes. But um, gnomes are just sort of the uh, perfect stage of humanity. Transhumanism, that's what it all gets to. It is inevitable. It's not something you can, you can fight against. I mean, you can try if you want, but you're going to lose. Um, and yeah, so the gnomes are coming. And I, it's, it's good because then, you know, we won't be going numb anymore and we'll be able to eat sugar and play games and have fun. And, um, and 
and then the games will be much more exciting than the games we have nowadays. The games we have nowadays are like Pong. They're very uh, mundane and basic, honestly. The games in the future, you can't even imagine how fun they'll be. They'll be far more exciting than anything you could ever do in the real world, and so you'll, you'll definitely play them. Everyone will, and, uh, and you'll love them. It'll be fun. And then, like, for instance, my Nintendo Switch, I don't want it anymore. And I'd have to go on eBay and sell it. And that's not how it's going to be in the future. In the future, you just call the government drone and it'll pick up your Nintendo Switch. And then the government will refund your ownership points back to you. And then you'll be able to spend those ownership points on something else you might want to rent. I mean, you own it, but you don't own it. The government owns it. And you get your ownership points back when you give it back. And then you can use those on other things, so. So that way, I won't be poor and broke because I have an Nintendo Switch. I just, if I want food or something, I just give the Nintendo Switch back and I can get nice foods from the government, AI, robots. Anyway, thank you for watching.